Hey guys, it's Young Mind HS here, back with another video. Today we're going to be talking about how to get the maximum amount of FPS on Subnautica. So the reason I'm actually making this video is because one of my subscribers asked me down in the comments below if I could make an optimization guide for Subnautica. And I'm always willing to do requests by you in the comments, so if you have a request, or you just want me to make a video on something, leave it down in the comments and I'll try and get on it as soon as possible. As always, if this video helps you, a like would be very appreciated. And if you're new, I make loads of guides. So if you're into that kind of thing, think about subscribing. Anyway guys, let's get right into the video. So the first thing you want to do is come down into the description and download my Subnautica FPS Increase Pack. This will give you everything you need for this tutorial. So it's best to just get it. So once you've installed that, you will double click on it, hit extract, and then extract it to the desktop. Then you'll end up with something like this. So you want to go ahead and go to Steam, right click on Subnautica, hit properties, make sure enable the Steam overlay while the game is off, and set launch options to no log. Then you want to go to local files, browse local files, and go to SN Unmanaged Data. Then you want to double click on it and go back to our Subnautica pack. Then you want to go to Game Files and copy these in. Press Replace Files in this location, but if that doesn't pop up, that's okay too. Then you want to take one step back, right click on Subnautica, hit Properties, Compatibility, and make sure override high D DPI scaling behavior performed by and make sure it's set to application. Then you want to go to here and type run. Then you want to type percent temp percent. Now these are a bunch of temp files that you don't need so we're just going to delete them. Some of them may currently be in use so we cannot delete them. Then we're going to hit skip and we'll see that that has been deleted. Then the next thing we're going to do is go to Windows Finder, hit file, open new window, go to this PC, right click on Windows C or whatever one you have your operating system. You can tell because it has the little Windows logo on it. So you want to right click it, hit properties, go to general, disk cleanup, and then select all of these where you see numbers and hit OK. Depending on how much you selected, it'll take longer. Then you want to go to Tools, Error Checking, and check for errors. You want to hit Scan Drive and give it a couple of minutes just while it scans your drive for any errors. This is really important because if your drive has an error, it can really, really slow down your computer. And that means you'll be playing your games slower as well. As you can see though, my drive is completely fine. Now this tip is only for people with hard disk drives. You want to hit optimize, go to your hard disk drive and hit optimize. What this will do is defragment your hard disk drive. So it means data transfer speeds happen a lot faster, which means your game can load faster and you can also increase FPS. So after that's done, you want to close all this down and go back to the FPS increase pack and run CC setup. Then you want to install CC setup and you will get something like this. Then all you want to do is hit run cleaner and you can leave it in the background while it cleans. It will take longer depending on how many files you have and how many it has to clear. I literally did this about half an hour ago, so I basically have nothing. But I've heard people have upwards of 40 gigs on average, and that's just huge. Then you want to close out of that and run MB3 setup. If you set up, then you'll run into something like this. Then all you want to do is click scan now. It may say, uh, it might give you three options. Then the only one you want to go for is fret scan. 
those aren't that relevant. But the good thing about this is you can leave it in the background while it runs the scan. So what we want to do is go to Unpark CPU app and click on it. And then after you do, you'll get something like this. And you want to click check status and then you'll get something that looks like this. As mine are both parked, all I would need to do is hit unpark all and then restart my computer. But before we do that, we're going to wait for this as we have a few more things before we do that. So as we can see, it looks OK. But the next thing you want to do is look down in the description and I'll have a link to two sites. Depending on if you have an NVIDIA card or an AMD card, the, you pick the different one depending on what you have. So I have a 1060, so I would go to GeForce, 10 series, 1060, and I also have Windows 10 64 bit. Then I would hit search and then download. For AMD, I'm not quite sure because I don't use it, so we'll just look for a 290. So it would be in desktop graphics, R9, 290, and Windows 10 64 bit. Then we'd hit display results, and we would just download this here. So after that's done, and your malware bytes is complete and says it's fine, if it finds anything, it'll just pop up saying, please quarantine. You'll click yes, and then it'll pop up here. Click this to select them all, and then click delete. So the last step is to go to your Unpark CPU app, hit Unpark, and then after that's finished, restart your whole system. Then come back to the video, and we'll talk about in-game optimizations. So once you're in-game, you want to go to Options. Then you want to set the resolution to 640 by 480. Make sure full screen is on and VSync is off. Then you want to go to graphics, the preset to custom, color grading off, detail low, water quality low, uh, medium rather, anti-aliasing TAA, anti-aliasing quality off, bloom off, lens dirt off, depth of field off, motion blur quality off, ambient occlusion off, screen space reflections off, and differing off. Then you want to hit apply. Then what you want to do is go to play, and I'm going to have to start a new game. So I'm going to skip past this, and then I'll see you in game for a few more optimizations. So once you're in game, what you want to do is press F3, then you want to press F8. Then you want to do current texture quality to 1, light shafts off, frame time graph off, ambient particles off, water volume and water surface off, shader load to 100 and shader load group bias to 0 0.01. Then shadow cascades to 1. Then you want to exit, exit out of this again and that's the optimization guide over. As you see, it's pretty ugly, but if you have a low end PC or if you just want the maximum FPS, this is what you have to do. So if this video helped you out, a like would be deeply appreciated. And if you're new, I make a lot of FPS guides. So if you enjoy that kind of thing and want to see more games in the future, leave a comment down below about what game you want me to make and hit that subscribe button. Anyway guys, this has been Young Man DHS, and I'll see you in the next one. Oh.